One last question. Suppose, Lord Russell, this film were to be looked at by our descendants, like a Dead Sea Scroll in a thousand years' time. What would you think it's worth telling that generation about the life you've lived and the lessons you've learned from it? If a lion could speak, we would not be able to understand what he said. Why do I say such a thing? Yes, yes, we, we, we could get an interpreter. <laughs> but what possible use would that be? To imagine a language is to imagine a form of life. It's what we do and who we are that gives meaning to our words. I can't understand a lion's language because I don't know what his world is like. How can I know the world a lion inhabits? But occasionally, you know, you get a spark. Uh, somebody will challenge your mind, you know, make you think. Because the really significant education in thinking that we're supposed to get in a place like this isn't really about the capacity to think, but rather about the choice of what to think about. You learn how to learn, how to think critically and find solutions to unexpected challenges. The point here is that I think this is one part of what teaching me how to think is really supposed to mean to be just a little less arrogant, to have just a little critical awareness about myself and my certainties, because a huge percentage of the stuff that I tend to be automatically certain of is, it turns out, totally wrong and deluded. When you are studying any matter or considering any philosophy, ask yourself only what are the facts and what is the truth that the facts bear out? When you want to know the meaning of a word, don't look inside yourself. Look at the uses of the word in our way of life. Uh, there are plenty of people who don't want students to think. They don't, they're afraid of the crisis of democracy. You know, people start thinking and you get all these problems I was quoting at the beginning. You know, they won't have humility enough to submit to a civil rule. You know. Or they'll start trying to press their demands in the political arena. Or they'll, you know, have ideas of their own instead of believing what they're told. And uh, privilege and power typically doesn't want that. Education also teaches you the value of discipline. That the greatest rewards come not from instant gratification, but from sustained effort and from hard work. This is a lesson that's especially true today in a culture that prizes flash over substance, that tells us that the goal in life is to be entertained. It says you can be famous just for being famous. May you get on a reality show, don't know what you've done, suddenly you're famous. We have to learn to tolerate each other. We have to learn to put up with the fact that some people say things that we don't like. I should say, love is wise, hatred is foolish.